The utter destruction of Ukraine is not being seen by the people whose country is causing it. State television, where most Russians get their information, presents Vladimir Putin's message, a military operation welcomed by Ukrainians and sanitized for Russian consumption. Many Russians don't want to know, as Radio Free Europe discovered. I support Putin, says this woman. I won't look at these photos. This man insists no one is bombing Kyiv. I don't believe it. And those who do believe it and speak out are quickly rounded up and jailed. But no amount of propaganda or censorship can shield everyday Russians from the global backlash, starting with long lineups for cash and now seeing major companies pulling up stakes. Some 300 businesses, led by the tech industry and payment systems, are pausing operations in Russia, from fast food and fossil fuels to cars, computers and parkas. One Moscow resident who does not want to be identified tells Global News it is depressing. I think people are starting to feel it. Fast food chains or like clothes brands are leaving the country, which affects um, like citizens, affects their own lives, even though they don't feel like they should participate in it. The closing of more than 800 McDonald's marks the end of an opening to Russia that was hoped would democratize Russia. And it is the Russian people who will feel the isolation and unemployment brought about by Vladimir Putin's invasion. He is sealing his country off completely from the rest of the world. Because no one in, in the media right now, because it's controlled by the Russian government, uh, will tell that truth to the Russian people. One teacher willing to talk publicly tells Global News an increasing number of Russians do not believe the propaganda and must speak out. The least we can do is just to, to show the rest of the world that, well, actually, uh, the Russians are not very supportive of that war. The question is whether Russians' own suffering and setbacks will make President Putin change course or cause him to escalate the Russian attack on Ukraine. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.